Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am building a house that I am calling Modern Lakefront Lodge. Um, almost said lakeside because I was debating between those two names. But yeah, this house is built on Crystal Springs, I believe is the name of this lot in Sunset Valley. So this is originally a community lot, a um, fishing spot. Um, in Sunset Valley and yeah I've been wanting to build a house on this lot because it's kind of cool and I think it kind of makes for a nice like lakefront kind of sort of situation although it's not really a lake it's it's probably more like a pond just as you can see it's very small um, but you know pond front doesn't really have like the same ring to it as lakefront so I'm just you know I'm just calling it a lakefront house so anyway this house, yeah, it's built on this lot here. Um, it is kind of an interesting lot because it's not near a road, although there is kind of like an area like that looks like it could be a path that leads up to it, actually kind of from two directions. Um, but it would be cool. I was like, I was like wishing I could like terrain paint the land like, you know, outside of the lot so I could like make it look like there's a driveway that comes up to the house, but can't do that. In the end though, I did put like a little parking spot off to the side and put like some dirt tracks underneath it. So like, you know, maybe a car has come up here, cars can come up here, but you know, just kind of off-roading a little bit. Um, but you know, it's more of like a secluded kind of situation. I feel like this would be like more like a kind of getaway vacation kind of house. But yeah, so this house ends up having four bedrooms and three bathrooms and it is built mostly over the water. So I would say like 90 five percent of it is over the water um so yeah it's pretty cool and really i wanted to create this very stilted looking foundation like not really stilted in the sense of like wooden piers but more like these blocks um, of foundation as opposed to just being like a solid foundation or something but i do end up modifying it a little quite a bit maybe not quite a bit you know but a fair a fair bit I have to, you know, make some changes, which is why it's a longer video. Um, you know, it's it, it has a bit of um, an, evol an evolution to it. So, you know, but anyway, I really wanted to use um, these windows that I have. Um, they're from, uh, I forget the name of the user, but they're, I think they're from a modern, the set is called Modern Line Windows, I believe. And there they are, actually. And yeah, it's custom content. It's like the fourth time I'm using these windows. So um, it's really the only custom content that I have like used in the past, like, I don't even know, past decade. Um, so yeah, probably accurate. Uh, so yeah, it's like, it's like the only custom content I've used in like the past decade. And I just found them this year. I, I got them specifically for um, a house I did in March. Um, that I called Trigable Modern House, which is a cool house. You should check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, they're really cool. These um, triangular windows that go up in the roof eaves. Um, and then it has like all the other windows that you can use as part of the set. So this house uses um, only windows from that set. So I have like the full height ones and they're cool because they have like end pieces and then they have middle pieces that don't have like frames on the sides. So you can make much wider windows than um, the game normally allows you to and then it also has some really nice smaller windows too but mostly this house has the larger windows so yeah and also has matching sliding glass doors too so all of the windows in the house and the sliding glass doors are custom content um, the single wide out outside doors are base game and all the interior doors are base game i mean everything else is is not custom content um so i'll leave a link in the description so you can download the windows if you want i think they're very old like they're probably from like 10 years ago or something i believe you know but they're really cool and so i wanted to use them for this house i kind of had this vision i, I was struggling to realize the vision that i had for like a little while and i realized the main issue is it was too wide like that main portion of the house is just like a bit too wide so I took it down from the eight tiles that I had at there to four to six six tiles and I got rid of the the chimney in the middle there because I did not think it looked good so and I also expand the house too because it was a little bit on the smaller side as it is because this is really the whole thing right here and so I wanted to to add a little bit more so I end up adding another section more onto the left side really so yeah and you can see this house actually does have a bridge over to get you know to the front door and it's kind of one of those interesting situations where like the front door is actually like on the back of the house i guess technically because at least you guess you can consider it the front but it's just facing a rock wall basically because 
you know, it's just the way the lot is, and there's also, like, no windows really on that side of the house because it's kind of facing the rock wall, but that's where the front door is because that was, like, the, you know, what kind of made the most sense, so yeah, the front door is kind of the back, and then the front faces the pond or lake, um, so yeah, kind of a cool view, especially from, like, like the screenshots look cool from like the other side of the the pond where you can kind of see the house and the way it kind of like comes out over the water I think is really nice. Here's where I started adding on a bit more to the house um, and so I, I add on this like section that is two stories as well and that's actually where the primary bedroom ends up going. This house kind of ends up having two primary bedrooms. I guess one's a primary bedroom, one's a secondary bedroom, we could say. That's, that probably makes the most sense, but they're about equal size. They have both an equally sized ensuite bathroom. It's just the one on the second floor I call the primary bedroom because it fa it has a view of the pond and has, has a balcony, whereas the other one is like at the back of the house, so it doesn't really. So yeah, I feel like I kind of like had to make, I realized that I had made the primary bedroom on the first floor before I added this whole section I'm putting in right now, and so it had a view of the water, and then once I built that whole section and I made like two really small bedrooms on the second floor, which you'll see, and I was like, that doesn't make sense because why do these two tiny bedrooms have this like nice balcony with a beautiful water view and then the main bedroom downstairs is like, you know, looking out to the side of the house and doesn't have a water view. So I kind of just have two fancy bedrooms now. But I think it works out because I think four bedrooms is a decent number for this house because you have like kind of a kid's room, a teen's room, and then two kind of um, nicer bedrooms. So I guess like one's like could be a parent's bedroom and one could be like a guest room or grandparents or something, however you would want to arrange it. So I feel like it kind of makes sense. And also, especially since it's kind of like a guest house to, or guest house, well, more of like a vacation house, what I meant to say, uh, you know, it kind of makes sense. Like maybe there's like a couple of families staying here. It's like, say there's like... Um, like an aunt and uncle or something, and so like they have like a bed nice bedroom, and then the other other um, adults have a nice bedroom too. So you know, because I feel like obviously in The Sims you don't really have vacation houses. Like your Sims can own more than one house, but since they're kind of in the same world, it doesn't really feel like that much of a vacation house. Much much of a vacation house, but we can imagine that if this was a vacation house, that would kind of make sense for it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm redoing the foundation now because I I changed the shape of the house a bit. So just redoing that, but yeah, I wanted it to have like these little supports underneath, but I didn't want like a solid foundation under the house. I just feel like that usually doesn't look quite right, especially when it's like built almost entirely over the water. I feel like it, it needs to be like a bit more of like an open looking foundation, but basically, uh, you know, I'm just doing that. And I also have a lot of nice outdoor space on this house. So there's a very large deck right there, as you can see. Uh, kind of wraps around the whole set, the whole front and sides of the house, and then I have three balconies. So there's the one from the primary bedroom in the in the front facing the water. There's another one facing the water uh, upstairs, and then there's a rear one that I add in later. So that's going to be a fun surprise when you see that. Not really that much of a surprise. I just said it, but I extend the house further back into the rock, and I put a um, another deck like up up there. So it doesn't really have much of a view of anything, but I thought it was kind of like a fun little space and. I put a staircase kind of connecting it down to the lower level and then you can kind of like walk underneath the house along this like pathway from the bridge over to where I'm going to put a pool. But right now I think the shape is done. I think we're kind of, well, almost, I still want to add more to the house, but we're kind of working on the floor plan at the moment. So the front door is where that like bridge kind of leads up to and there's gonna be two bedrooms up there by the front door. And then there's going to be a bathroom there, a laundry room, and the stairs that go up up to the second floor. And then, you know, obviously, you can probably guess the living room is going to be at the front there where the kind of two-story ceiling is, as you can see. So that's going to be the living room. And then there's like this balcony kind of that looks down over the living room. And that is um, that is kind of connected to a secondary living room upstairs, which is kind of more of like a cozy space. You can kind of see it right there is actually where it's going to be. And yeah, right now I was arranging the second floor. I did end up expanding it, which helped um, a good amount with the layout up here because I wanted to have room for both like a, a primary bedroom and a bathroom and have space for that living room. And, you know, it was kind of getting a little tough, um, but obviously at the moment I'm just focusing on having two bedrooms up there, which as you can see, they're both very small. And so it wasn't really an ideal solution to have just two tiny bedrooms up there. So it, like I, this house didn't need to have five bedrooms that badly. 
So I did decide that I was going to remix that. So you'll see when that happens. But anyway, here you can see the windows and how kind of cool they are with the center pieces that don't have the frames and you have like the end pieces that are that are um, independent. So you can make these wider windows like what I just did there. And then oh, there's a triangle window that doesn't stay actually. Oh, that's a shame. I should have left that triangle window there, but I, I don't. Um, wait, why don't? Oh, because I put a floor there. That's right. Yeah. Oh, no, I put a balcony there. <laughs> wow, look at me discovering things, even though I literally just finished building this house yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, I put a balcony there, and that's why there's no triangle window in that spot. So, yes, that balcony doesn't really have too much on it. It just ends up having, like, a telescope, so it's kind of fun. But, you know, there, there that's where it ends up. So yeah, there's the balcony up there, and yeah, I end up actually yeah the stairs are kind of under the roof, and I I should have play tested. I was I was I thought about it, but then I forgot. So you know I oh yeah right now I just changed it to a residential lot because I had forgotten up until this point to change it from community to residential. But yeah, so the stairs I do, I can't guarantee that they will work. I think they will, but I don't know for sure because they kind of lead up to um, underneath a roof as you can maybe kind of tell. So it's not a full height. Um, under the stair, above the stairs. So I feel, I feel like Sims should be able to walk up there. I just, I just feel like they should be able to. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I guess, well, I guess you'll see really if you download the house. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, but uh, it kind of worked best for like the design and that's usually what I focus on. So, you know, that's, that's what I did. Anyway, that's the kitchen almost. Um, I'm going to adjust it, but yeah, I got some sliding doors going on and yeah, here I'm adjusting the kitchen, but it's quite nice. You have a nice um, water view from your kitchen there and I'm going to put bar stools there along the island as well. So yeah, nice modern kitchen, getting in more windows and some windows up here um, for those bedrooms that will soon not be there anymore. And yeah, also this house is a lot of... Um, a lot of vaulted ceilings so as you can see because I'm using these windows in the eaves of the roof I can't put a ceiling in those rooms obviously it would look kind of dumb so basically uh, and you'll see this in the screenshots if you stick around for those at the end um, that yeah a lot of these rooms have just it's open all the way to the underside of the roof um, which is a little unfortunate that in the sims 3 and you know probably the sims 4 too you can't like adjust the color of the underside of the roof pieces so in this case i'm using this um but i don't know what this is like a steel or um, aluminum roof some sort of metal uh, like these panels so the underside of the roof is just uh basically the same color but just a solid gray so yeah that's kind of what it looks like on the inside and you'll see that in the screenshots it would be so nice if it could be white on the underside of these like roof pieces but it is gray, unfortunately, but you'll see that especially in like the main living room, we have that really tall ceiling at the back of the house where I'm building right now. There'll be a pool table room with a ceiling like that. And then actually three of the bedrooms have the tall ceilings. So you'll kind of see that, but it gives it like really nice kind of sense of space and nice, nice, a lot of nice big windows and stuff. Anyway, right here, I'm adding on that extension to the house, which I mentioned before. So yeah, this way I'll be able to make the second floor layout a bit better later on, but also kind of has this cool little upper um, outdoor space. So I thought that'd be kind of fun up, up along the rocks here. And yeah, I'm gonna also put a staircase that goes down to the second floor or first floor rather, first light level, ground level. <laughs> so yeah, there's the staircase coming in right now. And yeah, so that's gonna just, kind of just a fun little thing. So you can kind of get up there, I guess, without having to go through the whole house. Um, there's not like too much up there. It's just like a table and um, just some lounge chairs, but I thought that it was kind of cool. And right now I'm actually adding um, a roof that kind of extends across. So I thought it would make the house look a little bit better. So there it is. And I also put some support columns as well for that. But that's the shape of the house. The house is now finally done um, structurally, structural, structurally. So that's that's all there now. Um, it's the final shape of the house. Although, actually, the floor plan is not yet fully done. But the house outside of the house is. Anyway, you can see I got some stairs there, which is kind of fun. And have to keep adjusting this hillside. It's, I didn't realize it because I remember like this lot. I built like a house in this lot. Like, oh, my goodness, so long ago. Maybe when I was like, I don't know, like 10 years old, <laughs> so a very, very long time ago, but it's like near when The Sims 3 first came out. 
I built like a house on this lot. And so my memory of this lot was kind of from, you know, over a decade ago. So I didn't realize how big those like stones, like those big stone like hills were on either there's like rock formations on either side of the lot are like massive i did not realize that i thought they're like half the height so yeah it is kind of a very steep rock wall there with the house the way it kind of comes in so i didn't like it wasn't exactly as i envisioned it but it still turned out good uh, in the end but yeah oh we can see now i changed the upstairs so we have one bedroom up there i was going to add on a bathroom behind the house but it messed up the roof from the inside and it looks not great so I had to abandon that mission, and instead I put the um, bathroom over here, so you can see now why it's good. I extended the house, because I kind of needed that space. So, yeah, this way um, you now have a nice ensuite bathroom there, and it kind of separates that second floor area into two spaces, so I kind of have like a living room, or a bonus living room, second family room, I don't know. And then you have like a pool table kind of game room, I guess, at the back, at the very back, so yeah. Anyway, um, what's happening now? I guess, oh, getting some beds in, so that's fun, um, although not really serving much of a purpose there. Oh yeah, here I'm getting some windows in the front of the house, if you, or back of the house, whatever you want to call it. That's really the only windows on that side of the house, just some small ones, because, you know, it's facing not really any kind of view. Oh, here we're getting on some interior doors, so that's exciting. And, you know, don't worry, I'm going to have to recolor all of the doors and windows in the house still, that has not yet happened. Oh yeah, here I'm adjusting the roof so that you don't see anything weird from inside or outside. And oh yeah, got to extend that chimney all the way up. Oh yeah, I do a weird thing with the chimney actually because I use a chimney from one fireplace and then one from a different... No, the chimney's from one fireplace, but the fireplace itself is a different, a different one, so I kind of mix and match. So I get this fireplace in here, which has that chimney, which I quite like that one. And then I actually use this one using move objects. I put a different fireplace in on the ground floor, so... The chimneys is from a different fireplace than the one I used, but I just, I wish that the chimneys were nicer. It's like most of them are just like the red brick, which is like not really the vibe for most of the houses I build. And then the other ones, like this one's from Supernatural, I kind of have this like yellowish brick, which I've used more frequently because they look a bit better, but it's only like two choices with that. And then this fireplace I used in the house has a gray one. I think it's also from Supernatural, actually. It's a variation of the base game one, but... It has a gray, solid gray chimney, which would have been fine for this house, but I kind of like the other one, which is like the stone. It has like these stones in it, which I think looks nicer. And so you can see it there. It has a bit more going on. So I use that one. Um, but that fireplace you can't like put in a wall because it's like a double-sided one. So I had to just mix and match, if you will. Anyway, right now I'm recoloring all of the windows. So this is fun. You know, it's what I always do. I like to put all the windows down first, and then I'm like, okay, now it's time to recolor them all painstakingly. So here we go, around the whole house, recoloring all the windows. Almost done, though. Actually, we still have to do the doors inside, so that's that's going to happen right now. So going through, doing all the doors, and I think that's it. Yay! Oh, yeah, oh, I missed some there. And also, of course, all the trims on the half walls. I actually used a glass railing because I thought that was nice. It kind of made it look a bit more open um, as opposed to using a half wall kind of on that main, on those main like balconies. But the ones on the house on the second floor, I used half walls for those. Anyway, the house color is nothing exciting. It's just white um, or it's like an off white, I guess. Um, so, you know, pretty standard modern house stuff, but I, I just like it. So, you know, it's a classic for a reason. So just doing that right now, I had to get rid of that closet because it was messing up the walls. The lighting was all weird. And then there's going to be some stone as well. So I'm just going to get some stone, I think, from Ambitions. I use this, like, nice light gray stone. Um, so I kind of just use that on all of the foundation elements uh, around the house. So that kind of is the um, other material. And then here I'm getting some stairs, the end of the bridge. So that's kind of how you enter. It's kind of a very dramatic entrance you know coming in coming in on a bridge and then yeah these stairs here I actually made them stone because I thought that would look a bit nicer than all being wood and I kind of put this like stone here so I thought that was kind of nice little transition there from like the deck to the to the ground and then I actually I put uh, terrain paint on the first floor instead of these floor tiles so I end up changing it actually because I wasn't the biggest fan of it 
Should I probably do that right now? I don't think I left that for very long. Yeah, there it goes. And yeah, instead I used terrain paint. It was like weird. It was like all rock here. There's like no grass or anything. So I do some terrain painting work, mostly near the end-ish, I think. Or actually maybe now too. I like introduced some grass because I was like, it looks a bit weird the way it's like all rock um, because of the way the lot was, of course. I mean, of course, I carved away a lot of the rock that was here to make that area. So it... Um, it kind of just stayed the same terrain paint, but I changed it up so it looks a bit nicer. I actually only, only added two trees to this lot. The two you just saw me add is actually it. So unusual. I usually add a lot of different trees around. So that was kind of it for this house. So there's kind of one there by the front door and one off to the side. But anyway, we're doing the inside now. So that's exciting. I do the kitchen first, I believe, which has, you know, pretty simple, nothing too crazy color wise or anything. You have like black, a black tile backsplash, and then you have the um, white walls, gray countertops, wood. I don't think we're even doing it yet, so who knows when that's going to happen. I've just been describing something that's not happening. Anyway, there's the dining table. There's the bar stools. Here we go. It's going to happen now. So yeah, obviously just adjusting these counters using the most fun cheat to type in. Was it... Um, Disable snapping two slots on, alt on. It's a great cheat. He really made that one a mouthful. So um, that's how you adjust the the um, counters like that. Um, otherwise, they will snap to the grid no matter what you do. So anyway, here I'm just recoloring all of the cabinets. I went with a nice wood. I actually used a, mis a mitch m mismatch. Mismatch, not mitch match. I don't know why that's what comes out when I try to say mismatch. Uh, anyway. Um, I used late night uppers with into the future lower cabinets except for the one over the fridge that one's into the future they need more like that it was like that was so nice that like one upper cabinet from into the future that fits perfectly above the fridges uh, such a shame is only that one that they ever did that is that size for fitting over the fridge like perfectly and also why don't they have that in the sims 4 as well it's like the cabinets are whack with the fridge like in The Sims 4, it's like they're like just slightly too tall to fit over the fridge. And then you use the shorter one and then it's like a massive gap. I don't know. Anyway, The Sims 3 doesn't have anything that fits over a fridge except for the one into the future one. So, you know, whenever I do a modern kitchen, I like to take advantage of that because it looks nice. Anyway, this is the dining room. So I'm using these chairs, which are actually from Aurora Skies, but they're nice. I like those chairs. They're kind of fun. Um, very like minimalist and kind of light and airy looking. And I also got in some book, a lot of bookshelves, actually. There's a lot of built-in looking bookshelves. There's like those along the back wall. And then there's also the bookshelves next to the fireplace that you can probably already see. So yeah, those I put in a while ago. Anyway, I was just doing some outdoor lighting. Here's a rug. So I'm just kind of recoloring that to do kind of what I do for modern rugs. And here I'm recoloring the fireplace, which I wanted to make it wooden, but when I colored the outside part wood, it made like the very inside part wood as well, which doesn't really make sense in a fireplace. So I had to change that. Oh, we're back in the kitchen now. So, oh, I found a place for that plant up there by the stairs, and that's fun. Oh yeah, this is the upstairs living room area. Oh, there's just a TV there at the moment. So, you know, I, I jump around a lot with this one. You know, you can kind of tell I'm all over the place, and I don't really know what's going to happen next. It's kind of always a surprise. Ah, here we're clearing out this area for the pool, I presume. So, yeah, I end up putting a pool in because, you know, the, the, the lake slash pond is nice, but why not also have a pool, you know? Might as well have both. So there's the pool very close to the lake. I don't know if that would technically be that feasible um, in real life because digging a giant pit just a few feet from the edge of a lake probably is not the best idea, but there it is. It's The Sims, so don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so nice pool there, um, you know, right by the lakeside. And I also put a little tiny outdoor kitchen. It's really basically just a grill and a sink and a cup and a countertop. <laughs> so, but we'll call it the outdoor kitchen because it's outdoor kitcheny enough. Don't think that's happened yet. So we'll see when that happens. Uh, don't worry, I'll let you know. Anyway, there is some lounge chairs and a dining table. And I actually put a fire pit out there later, but um, not yet. There's the kitchen. Yay! So yeah, you got a got a grill and you got a countertop, and you got a sink, all that you need, and there's some more lounge chairs there, so that's nice. So yeah, that's the pool area. I'm gonna change out the fence right now. So I go with um, actually a wall rather than a fence. So there you go. There's the wall. It actually goes all the way down the side. That little like little area there. I put some rocks too in there. It's very nice. 
And then I put a little um, gate so you can get out to the back. So there you go. So that is the pool area, which will obviously I'll refine that later. But for now, we're back inside. This is the upstairs living room space, bonus room, kind of um, less formal living room, you know, more cozy and kind of away from the main action of the house, although it is open to the downstairs because of that balcony, but still, you know, a little bit more private up there. And then, yeah, this is the primary bedroom, so just getting in um, some furn basic furniture, also some blinds. I do put blinds in all the windows because I think it looks nicer to have that bit of realism. Uh, though I do wish you could have the blinds be in the fully up position so that it looks like they're there, but they're not like actually blocking the window, but alas. Anyway, there's the, the, the oh gosh, office area. So yeah, I left that little nook there in the living room for like a little office space. So there's like a desk with a computer, also a fish tank, and that's it. So that's your office. Oh, a shelf too with the yellow horse. I do realize I forgot the yellow horse on like my last two, well, the last house I did was a starter home and that one... The yellow horse was too expensive, but the one before that I just straight up forgot, so that's unfortunate. But I did not forget here, the yellow horse is in this house, so no worries. Anyway, here I am recoloring the furniture in the living room. So we got black couches in here, and yeah, there you go, black couches. And also there's the desk, so just doing some recoloring action on that, and then not a rug. So I was going to do it, but I was like, eh, no. And there's a light, there's another light, and there's a third light, three lamps. Um, three lamps are the price of one, uh, not really. Oh, and also I couldn't use too many ceiling lights in this house because, you know, it was like not really a ceiling in a lot of these rooms, like this one. So I had to re make sure that I was using wall lights and lamps um, in the rooms that didn't have a ceiling because I don't like floating lights. It's always kind of quirky looking. So, you know, I use lights in the rooms that do have ceilings, but not in the ones that don't. Well, I guess all the rooms have ceilings, but the ones that have the vaulted ceilings do not have ceiling lights because they would be floating. So, yeah. Anyway, this is the downstairs bathroom. So, yeah, the house actually has three bathrooms. So this is the only one that's not an ensuite. So this is kind of the bathroom for all the other people visiting the house or living in the house. So, yeah, this one is small. It's on the first floor. It's kind of like near the main living space, though. And near the bedrooms, too, equidistant between the living room and the bedrooms, so perfect. Um, and yeah, it's very simple. This is the kids' room. I don't think I actually fully furnish it yet. It's just kind of, you know, doing a little stuff in there. Nothing nothing too much, though. Anyway, adding a few more items in here. So that's pretty much it. There you go. It's the bathroom. This is the laundry room just on the other side of the wall. So you got your um, washer and dryer there. And then also a little shelf with some decorations on it. And there you go. Bam, that's the laundry room. Anyway, this is the other bedroom on the first floor, so got like lots of natural light, vaulted ceiling in this one, and uh, you know, it's it's nice. So yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, this the downstairs um, bed, big bedroom downstairs. Anyway, oh, recoloring the outdoor furniture, which is oh so important. Uh, so it's also kind of funny to see like what are we at now? We're at 28 minutes into the video, um, 28 out of. Um, 43 all those screenshots so it's like really about 40 minutes of actual building so you know we're like what is that three quarters of the way through almost nearly three quarters of the way through and yet i've barely furnished <laughs> um oh i guess that's not true i guess i did the kitchen living room and dining room but yeah all the bedrooms are like i don't know it's like i feel like i take forever to like build the actual house and then the furnishing kind of comes together pretty quickly somehow sometimes i don't know um, I guess it depends on the house, but I was like, wow, we're already like three quarters of the way through the video and I like still have so much furnishing to do, but yeah, it all gets done obviously. Um, so, you know, don't worry. So that's like a little phone there in the kitchen, a few little decorations, you know, just to spice it up a little bit, add a little bit of zest. Um, and then yeah, some clothes in the closets, of course. So I think we're going to do this bedroom now. And this is, um, my intention was this to be kind of more of like a teen's room, sort of thing, you know, if it's the older child, they should get the bigger room, I guess, so that's why, that, you know, it's this one, and, you know, you have nice big windows here, of course, both of these bedrooms have access to, the, like, that wraparound porch, so that's nice, and yeah, so this bedroom has um, all that jazz going on, um, otherwise, not really that remarkable, I mean, you'll kind of see it come together here, got a few little details, little things, um, kind of a purplish carpet, which is fun, I don't even know what color you describe, it's like, I guess it's kind of purple, like a dark lavender sort of thing, very desaturated. 
Um, and then, you know, got a rug in there and a um, beanbag chair and a lamp. And I think that's about it, actually. So there you go. Bedroom. Yay. I guess that's why this didn't take me too long to do the bedrooms. I kind of kept it a little bit more simple uh, with this house. So anyway, this is the kid's bedroom. So it's a little bit smaller, um, but it has access to the balcony, too. This one's kind of more green, blue, and yellow, so that's kind of fun. I do change the carpet, because right now the carpet's kind of purpley, and that doesn't fit the vibe so much. So I'm going to change that, so, you know, don't worry. But, yeah, recoloring things here. Got some bookshelves over the bed. Um, you know, just be careful nothing falls out in the middle of the night. That would be kind of scary, but um, that's kind of cool, though. And I got a dresser in here, and there will be a desk in here with a computer as well. Um, so there, I just recolored the carpet, and there's the desk. I had to move it, though, because it, the chair was going to block the door. So, yeah, couldn't put it there, but then it goes in front of the window. So, anyway, got all that stuff going on in here, and there's going to be a few more things. Obviously, some decorations at this point, pretty much. Ah, oh, Sim City. What a classic. There it is on the wall. And also, in, like, some other things, um, like posters and stuff, a little lamp in the corner. And, you know, just some decorations on the desk. So just kind of getting that in right now. A little, little um, photograph, little photograph thing holder. Oh, a little trophy case. That's fun. And, you know, what else? Oh, I don't know. Guitar. There you go. And other stuff. Other stuff and things in this room. Obviously, there's not much to say here. I mean, it's a, it's a kid's room. Um, oh, it's going to be a toy. Yes, Octopus. Octopus makes a, makes a return in this house. He's in a lot of my houses. <laughs> kind of my go-to toy, I feel like, for these kids' rooms. And there's a rug. So yeah, there you go. Actually, that's, um, oh no, I was going to say that's the first floor down, but it is not. There is still the um, big bedroom down here to do. So we're going to do that now. Uh, so yeah, this was going to be the primary bedroom originally. Now it's kind of my secondary bedroom, I'm calling it. But it is, you know, very nice. It's the only reason it's not as nice as the, the, the main bedroom is that there's not as much of a water view. You do have a door, though, that leads out to that big deck. So that's cool. And also, you have a nice view of the pool, I guess, too. So, you know, nice big windows looking out to the pool. Oh, yeah, here in the hallway, I just had to um, add a little bit of decoration. But, yeah, you got a nice TV in here. You got an armoire or a road <laughs> wardrobe. Don't know why I said wardrobe. Oh, no, roar, roar, wardrobe. I don't even know what I said. Anyway, wardrobe, there it is. And, yeah, this is the bathroom. I actually think this is maybe a slightly bigger bathroom. No, I think it's the same size as the one upstairs. But it's got all the same things in it, basically. You got the two sinks, you got the shower and the and the tub and all that kind of stuff. You got some fancy little towels there, kind of above the above the tub, so that's cool. And yeah, so I'm just doing, you know, the stuff in the bathroom. I got this kind of cool flooring. I think I used it before in one of my earlier houses this year. But yeah, it's kind of this like little pebbly looking floor, which is kind of cool, so I like it. And yeah, just recoloring all the stuff, all the things in here, including the um, cabinets and getting some different counters in here. So yeah, very cool. Got the toilet paper, very important. And also some mirrors there over the over the sinks. So there you go. And yeah, it's unfortunate none of the bathrooms really have any kind of view. Um, it would have been cool to have like a bathtub in front of some windows that look over the lake. But you know, that's okay. Like this bath bathroom looks out kind of just to the back of the house, and then the one upstairs looks out to the back of the house, and the other one just doesn't have a window at all, so, you know, it's just the the way they kind of ended up, and yeah, so this is this um, bedroom here. The bed is actually one I don't use very often. It's from Pets, and I don't know if it's supposed to look like it's been, like, gnawed at, or if it's just supposed to look like a natural piece of wood that's just, like, that's the shape of the wood. Probably more the second one, but to me, it always looked like, because it's from Pets, I always thought, like, oh, it looks like it's been gnawed on. <laughs> that's why it's like this weird shape but I think it's just supposed to be like natural wood kind of shape although there's no like wood grains in the game that like look like natural wood really so I feel like it's kind of quirky no matter what you do but I thought you know I'll use the bed I don't really use that one ever so kind of mixing it up here you know and yeah so that's all of that I think the first floor is done dare I say I don't think that there's um, any more to do here besides put a mirror in I guess and some lights, but yeah, so I think we're going to move on to upstairs, so yeah, up here, you know, you have that nice little balcony area um, that kind of looks down over the main living room, and yeah, just kind of like a nice secondary space, got 
similar, I think the same amount of seating actually up here in a TV as well. It's just, you know, not as grand as the other bedroom. So or other other living room. So, you know, it's just um just a little bit less fancy, but it's kind of a nice more like private gathering space. So it's like a little bit less open up to the open to the rest of the house. So it's kind of like nice little area, kind of maybe more of like a, you know, informal family room type of living room sort of situation. So yeah, just recoloring a rug in here, kind of interesting pattern on the rug there. And I also like this little shelf. I have a little like bookshelf thing underneath the TV. Um, I think that's from like, what is it called? I'm trying to remember. Town Life Stuff. Oh my goodness. That pack was kind of very, in such an interesting pack. Town Life Stuff. It came with so many like random things that was like laundromat and like gym stuff. <laughs> I don't know. That was interesting. So I think that shelf actually came at Town Life stuff. So, which was oddly one of the first um, stuff packs I got for The Sims 3. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think it's because it was new and at the time, I think it was like 2011 or something. I can't really remember, but I was like, ooh, new stuff pack. I should get that. And I think it was like one of my first stuff packs and it was like kind of interesting, but you know, I eventually bought all the other packs for The Sims 3, though, honestly, most of them half off. So, you know, it was still too much money, but it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. It's also like, I own all the packs for The Sims 3, um, except for Katy Perry Sweet Treats. That's the one exception. <laughs> it's the one, the only one I never bought. Um, but I do have all the expansion and stuff packs, but the one thing I've like not kept up with is The Sims 4. I don't think I have bought a Sims 4 pack since, um, 2017. Wow, it's been five years. Holy cow. It has been five years since I bought a pack for The Sims 4. Uh, I think like, I think City Living was like the, or C, I don't know which was the most recent. Seasons? Cats and Dogs? Actually, maybe 2018 was the last time I bought a pack, actually. Still, four years is a long time. Yeah, I think it was either Seasons or Cats and Dogs. I can't, I don't know which was most recent, but um, that's, I, that's what I have up until. And I don't, I have a lot of stuff packs, but probably like only half of them because they have so many. And game packs, I only have like a few. I only have like three of them, maybe. I don't know. I don't play The Sims 4 very often. It's like, I mean, obviously, I don't play The Sims 4 very often. So it's like, I don't really see the point exactly in in spending the crazy amount of money that, that all these packs are. Although like, I have bought like quite a few of them half off <laughs> like I did with the Sims 3. You know, it's like I don't see the point in spending full price for any of them. I feel like I feel like there's never been a Sims pack that's worth full price just for any like the Sims 3 ones. I mean, I'm biased. I feel like they were better, but even so, I don't think any of them are really worth full price. I feel like I feel like half price is probably more their actual value. So, you know, that's just anyway, I went a whole rant there just because of one shelf that I put in and I missed the whole the whole primary bedroom and bathroom, but they're done now. So there you go. And yeah, there's a little chess table here and there's a pool table now. So that's fun. So that's kind of like the gaming room, <laughs> games room, pool table and chess table. There you, there you go. That's all you get. Um, but still kind of fun, I guess. So yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, one of the things I really haven't really, well, I explored custom content a lot more when I was like, first got The Sims 3. And I got too much of it. And then my game was like corrupted. So that was fun. You know, I went ham with the cars, especially. I was like very excited about that. Like all the custom content cars. I had like so many, so many. And then after like my game got corrupted, I think I went like the full opposite way. And I was like, mm, I don't want custom content anymore. But yeah, so like literally it is. Well, I did get, I did, when I did the review of that New York City world, um, I, that was custom, I had custom content, but I only installed it for the review and then I took it out of my game afterwards. But so yeah, these windows in this house is like this year is like the first time I started really using custom content. And again, it's just this one set or actually there's a, the doors, the sliding glass doors are from a different set. They're from, um, modern line. I think it's modern line doors. Anyway, it'll all be in the description. So, you know, and also it's like the fourth house I've used it on. I'm sorry for using custom content in these houses because I know that some people like to download them and it probably makes it more of a pain in the ass because I already use all the packs and now I have custom content in these houses. But these windows are so good. I feel like it's worth it. They like really look so much better than, than like the base game modern windows do. So 
they're just nice to use. But anyway, we're nearing the end, actually. There's only about a minute left of building, and then we're going to move into the screenshots. So if you've stuck around this long, thank you. If you've put up with me for f almost 40 minutes, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, it means a lot to me, um, especially for those of you who watch all the way through all my rambling and just, you know, talking about nothing that exciting. Um, so, you know, and yeah, if you haven't subscribed, I greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And, you know, if this is the first video of mine you're watching or one of the first ones, you know, um, I encourage you to check out my channel. I have a lot more videos like this one in The Sims 3 um, and some in The Sims 4. So, you know, you can check those out if you're interested. And of course, I always love to hear what you, you know, what your feedback is, uh, what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, and like I said um, quite a few times, there's down a link in the description and also a link to the custom content I used. And also I'll have a link to some instructions on how to install it as well. But anyway, we're pretty much done here. I'm just putting in a little car parking spot, even though there's no road to the house, I still wanted to have it. And I think with that, that's really the last thing I do. I believe for the most part. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the screenshots and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>